Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Toronto FC nil, New York Red Bulls nil, and MLS 2023 week 13. Toronto FC are the better team. There are three big chances. They couldn't put any of them away. They were a bit too lackadaisical in front of net when they had some really good chances. And that made them lose this game, arguably. My bad. Arguably, this game should have been 2-0, 3-1, and we should have won. Arguably, legit, they should have won. They did not, though. So, at half, it was 0-0, but that first half was all Toronto, except for maybe one play for the Red Bulls. The Red Bulls had one good chance, but that whole first half was all Toronto. They were on the Red Bulls like wide on rice. They looked like the better team. They played like the better team. They fought like the better team. And you knew that they should have won. They should have won this one outright. But they go to the half nil-nil. Full time, it still ends up nil-nil. At least we didn't get Tobias timed. At least they held the draw. They got a point. They're still joint bottom of the conference. But if they win, they will be near a playoff spot. If they beat Austin on the weekend, get four points this week, that would be amazing. And it's possible. It is very possible they do. But they get those points. And I think they will get four points this weekend. I think if they build on this performance with the players they had Austin's not that much better. This was a great opportunity to get three points and maybe have a six-point week, but you know what? I'll take a point. Insigne should have scored a goal. Bernadeschi should have scored a goal. Antognolu on that last shot, frankly, had a whole wide near post there, and he scored from halfway against Crew 2 last year, but here he didn't. So, at full time, it's nil-nil. Full time stats are as follows. 12 shots to 12, three shots on goal to three. 57% possession to 43% possession, 50, 527 passes to 396, 83% pass accuracy to 76, 15 fouls to 17, one offside to two, zero yellow cards to three, zero red cards to zero, six corners to one. Again, this game was mostly Toronto. I'd say 70% was Toronto holding the game forward. They played forward. They looked like the better side. It looked like Toronto were the team to beat tonight. It did not look like Red Bulls had a shot in hell. Red Bulls did not look good, and you could say they were missing most of their big guys. This is true, but they could have had a new manager bounce. You didn't really see that either. They had two straight wins coming into this match, but you didn't see them having that new manager bounce tonight. They looked milk toast. the Red Bulls did, and I was a little bit surprised. They still had Manuel. They still had Tolkien. I thought maybe something out of that, but they didn't. They didn't. Corey Burke came on. Coronel honestly stood on his head. I think they let Coronel stood on his head, but, you know, he did stand on his head, frankly, so I will give that one to him. Coronel definitely probably saved the draw for the Red Bulls. Sean Johnson really didn't have to do much, but he did what he had to do, so he did look better in his past couple of games. I wouldn't say this was better than NYCFC, but he looked better tonight. I think there were positives tonight. I think there were moments where you could say, okay, all right. It's not great. We're still scuffling. But if they could play like this and build from this, they will be on a forward trajectory. Now, do I think Bob Bradley is still the guy to carry this team forward? Hell no, I don't. But this was a better rebound after the last week of hell this team has put everybody through, whether it's players, fans, coaches, whatever, front office. This was better. This was a good rebound. Sometimes you have to take the small step before you take the big one. And honestly, they did. They should have taken a big one, but you could say that them brute forcing a win would have been a small step anyway. But with that being said, they really should have brute forced that win. And things looked really good tonight. I thought this game was absolutely what you wanted to see from TFC in most cases. Makeshift defense, they played just fine. Offense looked good. I think Bernadeschi looked better. I think Insigne, he had his moments. I'd still say overall he's been a bust for the team. But I think tonight he started to, I'm not saying turn a corner, but he did look better. Midfield, Cervania played well. Cozy Thompson played well. 
There was a lot of players that weren't playing in natural position who played well tonight. I think the team looked wonderful. I think Petretta, he played center back. At least that's what Fop Mob said. And the uh and then the Apple TV picture said for 11s he was playing center back. Petretta looked good as a center back. I thought Kobe Franklin had a great game. I thought Richie Larea, of course, had a great game. I'd probably say Richie was man of the match. I thought our back line, Mabaka playing the Mascherano role, played really good once again. I think Mabaka's been good since he's gotten here and been able to play. I think he's a great center back. I think he knows how to use his body. He's a six foot six giant. He knows how to use his body. He knows how to play around at center back. He believes in himself. I like Aime Mabaka. I think that may be a great pickup, if not this year, which it already has been, down the line. Once he gets more sure of himself, he's already sure of himself, but he's he's doing good. He's doing good. I got to give him props. Sean Johnson did enough tonight. I think he played better because he just had to do enough. Midfield again, pretty solid. Offensively, Sapong looked good for a half. I think Io coming on at 45 was stupid, but what can you do? I think Bernadeschi and Insigne looked about as good as they could in the situation. I think they had possibilities to brute force this match to a three point, but it wasn't to be. Looking at all of the situation, I thought the team played well. I thought the team played absolutely well. They deserve better. But again, sometimes it doesn't go your way, but it deserved better. It deserved better. to For the way to play out, I thought it should have been a better game. I thought they should have gotten three points. I thought they should have won. Would it have been brute force? Yes. Do I think they could win this weekend against Austin after seeing that performance if they take that down to Austin, Texas? Yes, I do. Red Bulls did not wow me, and Austin does not wow me. I will be watching Seattle versus Austin just to scout, you know. Why not? Right? But, again, with the football that was played, I thought TFC looked great. I thought they looked amazing tonight. I thought, I wouldn't say amazing, but compared to what they did last week, yeah, that was amazing, but they looked pretty good, and they should have won, and I think... A point is a little bit harsh. I think a point is a little bit harsh, but I'll take a point over losing in Tobias' time. I will take a point. I will not complain about a point. I will not be sad about a point. I'll keep it pushing. We'll keep it pushing and hope for Saturday, but it's a good place to be picking up that point. I think we need to keep building up, but at least the East is very tight. We're not like on the bottom by five points. They have to start getting results to make sure that doesn't happen. Getting a six-pointer here would have been nice because of the three points. Would have been nice, but you know what? I'll take a point, pick up some points this weekend, four-point week. That's a good way to start being back in the pack. With that being said, I'm, I'm happy with tonight. Overall, I'm happy with the match tonight. It was a good game. I think we were better than Red Bulls. I sort of expected a situation like this, but I will take what we got and run frankly, after last week. So that's what I got to say. I think it's a pretty cut and dry situation. I think it's a pretty cut and dry review. Not much to say, but I'm okay with it. So with that being said, if you liked this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification once subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put it to playlist, share it with friends and family, all that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of Chivas versus Club America in the semifinal leg one of the Liga MX Clausura Liga. I will see you tomorrow for that. I will do both legs of the Classical Nacional. And Friday, I'll probably be live for Forge versus Vancouver FC. Don't quote me on that, but I might be. Why not? Why not? Why not? So there you go. Then Saturday, TFC Sunday, the other leg of the Classical Nacional. That's what it looks like for me, but we'll see. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you later.